Hi, Andy here from 2 Minute Tech Tutorials. Now most Microsoft Word users will know that Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and other apps have a built-in spell checker. So as you type in your document, it will flag any words which it believes you have not spelled correctly based on the language of the dictionary on the computer, in this case, the English language. You'll see here I've put in some placeholder text. This is lorem ipsum, so it's Latin. It's going to flag lots of errors, but you'll be familiar also with the fact that usually you can right click and choose add to dictionary for any words which it flags as being incorrectly spelled. So this tends to be things like web addresses, or company or business names or perhaps people's names which the system thinks are incorrectly spelled. Now every time you right click on a particular word and add it to the dictionary it is actually adding it to a custom dictionary in the back end of Microsoft Word and in this video I'm going to show you how you can access that dictionary, how you can edit the words which are saved there and how you can then delete other words that are saved in there too. So what we want to do is to open that custom dictionary, we want to head up to the very top bar, click on Word and go down to Preferences. And then we're going to head along under Authoring and Proofing Tools to Spelling and Grammar. Now from here you can see that the custom dictionary is set to Custom Dictionary and there is only one. That's usually the case for most users on Microsoft Word. We're going to click on Dictionaries though and this will show us all of the different dictionaries that exist in the system. To get into that dictionary, we need to click on the Edit button and then click OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to show you all of the different words that you have added to your dictionary for this particular file. I'm going to click OK just now and it's going to open up the dictionary in what looks like a Microsoft Word document. Now in here, you could add any additional words. So let's say, for example, I work for a company called Ingenico. So let me just um, pop in the title there and I'll maybe put one other one. So um, something like that. Okay, so we can add another word in. Now, any type I, anytime I type either of these words in my documents, it's not going to flag them now as being incorrectly spelled because I've added them to the dictionary. But the one thing I need to do before I finish up is make sure I click on the save button and then choose to save which is going to actually save these words within that custom dictionary. Now all I need to do is click on the cross at the top of the custom dictionary and because I've saved it, it's now going to have added these words to the dictionary. The problem is in doing that, we have actually switched off the automated spell checker. So what we need to do now is we need to go back up to Word, to Preferences, back into Spelling and Grammar and I'm going to make sure that I check this Check Spelling As You Type option and then I'll close this menu back down and you'll see that it starts to flag any words that it thinks is incorrectly spelled. One final thing to note is you can have as many custom dictionaries as you want. So if you go to Word, Preferences, Spelling and Grammar and Dictionary, there is an option here to add additional new dictionaries in specific languages. But for most people, working with one dictionary will be enough.